Raquette is with us. Raquette is in Phoenix. Hey, Raquette, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Better than we deserve. What's up? <laughs> so, Dave, I have a question for you. I am debt-free. I listened to your book, followed the instructions, and I have become debt-free. That means my cars, to the loans, the whole shebang. Way to go, kiddo. Income. Yes, debt-to-income ratio is zero. I owe nobody nothing. But my dilemma is now I feel like I probably missed the race of me purchasing a, a, a home. Like I, I, this would be like my first time ever purchasing a home. And so my question to you, Dave, is I know interest rates are up. Prices are somewhat going down for a home. Should I, should I buy? Like what should I do? Because, I mean, I don't, I don't know what I should do right now. I want to buy a home. I feel like I'm ready to buy a home. My credit score is 810. My debt to income ratio is zero. And why would you not I'm buy? ready to purchase? Why would you but not buy? Because everybody is saying that the interest rates are, you know, it's the housing prices are too are too high, which means my mortgage would be too much. Have you noticed so that everybody point, is stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's in debt, not Raquette. Very true. Do you have a down payment saved up? I have about like um well total my savings I have about fifty thousand like completely saved. Okay. And that's not including that's not including um my pension. You know, I work for the um I work for the state a government job, so I've been here for like five years. Yeah. So if you leave your emergency account. fund out of that and you put the okay. rest of it down, and you can do a 15-year fix where the payment's no more than a fourth of your take-home pay, then uh, I wouldn't hesitate to tell you to buy. Uh, your Phoenix market h had shot up and has adjusted down. It is one of the a handful of markets that have adjusted down. The rest of them have just slowed their growth rate. But you're not going to okay. see a market like 2008 where phoenix prices go down substantially you're just not going to see it there's too much demand okay and if you buy with high interest rates and interest rates go down what do you do ah, ding ding you get the prize <laughs> and i think it's just important that you still get a house that you can afford i feel like a lot of people in this market assume you know if they are going to go in then they got to go push up their monthly payment a little bit more or something like that but still look at a house that you know brings your monthly payment to a quarter of your take home pay or below make sure you're still reasonable and thoughtful as you go through it because i think the fear can do both things it can make you either stay out of the market or go a little crazy and try to justify some purchase that you shouldn't make we've had several people call in and say you know we we got a house but you know the, the market's so crazy and we look at the numbers and it's 40 percent of their take home pay don't do that like still be reasonable still use wise decision making in it but if you have you know no debt if you have a down payment and you're ready to buy and you find a house you can afford, then still go for it. Yeah, exactly. I, and I think it's a really good point. Just because people in Washington are stupid, just because they've gone crazy, just because inflation's gone crazy, doesn't mean you need to go crazy. Because guess what? They're still going to be crazy while you're being broke because you did something stupid. So don't just go, oh, well, I, you know, I don't have to worry about math anymore because there's inflation. Math doesn't count this year. We get a year off from math. No, you get math in California, in Manhattan, and in um, Nashville. You get math everywhere you go. And math is going to kick your butt when you buy something you can't afford. And you used all of your emotions to justify it. Christine is exactly right.